What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in to Stock Essentials. Today we're going to be going over Palantir Technology, a PLTR stock, one of the most early hyped about stocks back in 2021. As we can see in the one year chart, it did have such a big run up uh, ever since it IPO'd late September. It had a pretty big run up all the way up to November all the way up to $30 and then it kind of went into this consolidation phase in the mid 20s and then it also had a really big run up early 2021 all the way up to all time highs of $45. So right now we're sitting at a price point of $24.49 and this is the price range where Palantir likes to sit at that mid $20 range. As we can see it did pull back quite a bit from its all time highs down around 50%. So right now, Palantir Technologies is, I think it's a very good long-term buy. So if you want to play options on this stock, you should do call options a few months out to even a few years out. Because uh, right now, because it's in this consolidation phase, that means implied volatility is pretty low. That means you're going to be able to buy call options for cheaper than normal. If we take a look at the IV rank for Palantir, uh, we can see it's at very low levels. This means premiums for Palantir are going to be very low as well. As you can see in the beginning of the year, implied volatility was insanely high. So a lot of people who bought options during this time lost money due to the decrease in implied volatility. Uh, so right now it's at low. It's at a very low. Um, implied volatility range right now so i think this is a very good opportunity if you're bullish on this company because what they do is they do a lot of big data analytics and they also have a lot of government contracts so they do have some reliable uh, revenue sources so palantir where i'm pretty bullish myself i have around 300 shares up around eight percent only but i'm holding the stock for the long term uh, and we're still pretty bullish so if you want to play options um, let's take a look at the options chain. Of course, you could always play shares, but right now it's consolidating, and and during this time, it's a great time to play options, um, not the weekly options because those are going to easily lose value over time as the stock consolidates. So we're gonna choose something like a 2022 strike uh, expiration date. So I would choose anything January 21, 2022, or later possibly even February 2022 or even June 17, 2022. Because right now it's a great time to buy. Premiums are going to be pretty low. And right now we're just going to be waiting for the long term with this stock. A lot of people have kind of forgotten about the stock, especially on Wall Street Bets. It was one of the most popular stocks early 2021 on Wall Street Bets. And then the, the, the hype kind of faded down and Palantir kind of consolidated during this through this mid $20 price range. So right now at $24 a share, it's a great buy in my opinion. And I will definitely be playing Palantir Technologies by selling options uh, and possibly buying some more leap options, leap call options. So I'm selling, I have a 300 shares of, of uh, Palantir and I will plan on selling some covered calls maybe about a week or two weeks out every single, every single week. Just collect some weekly premiums on my 300 shares while we're in this consolidation phase. But if you're willing, if you're looking to do some call options, uh, you want to do something like 2022 expiration date. As we can see on my screen here, we have a June 17, 2022 date, which is about a year from now. So there's a lot of time on these contracts and it's just a great time to buy in. As we can see on the options chain, we're going to see some pretty nice premiums. It's only going to cost you a few hundred bucks for something like a $25 call, as we see here. And this is going to give us a lot of time for the options to play out. Break even is going to be $30 at expiration, but you have over almost a year on the contract. So you're going to be holding this for a long term. And this is perfect if you want to buy like 100 shares of Palantir, but you can't afford 100 shares, you don't have much in your account. This is only going to cost you around 500 bucks. If you want to do something um, a little bit safer, you could do a $20 strike. This is going to cause the delta to be a little bit higher because uh, remember, the more in the money the strike price is, the more delta is going to be. And the higher the delta, the more accurately it's going to reflect 100 shares. Because remember, the delta is for every $1 price movement in the underlying stock, 
our premium is going to increase or decrease by the delta times 100. So, for example, if Palantir Technologies goes to $25.49, our premium is going to increase by $73. So it's going to be worth just around $850 for your contract. So this is the beauty of playing uh, in the money call options a year out. It's going to replicate 100 shares, but you're basically leveraging your money. So it's going to cost you a lot less than 100 shares. Because if we outright bought 100 shares, you're going to have to put down $2,400 to buy those 100 shares. But in this case, we're only going to be putting down just under 800 So that is a great option for especially you long-term investors out there. So if you want to do some short-term options, definitely would not recommend buying call options. It's going to be pretty risky because Palantir is pretty flat. So it's going to be perfect opportunity for selling options. So let's head over to the options chain. And this is a cash secured put strategy. So it is going to require a little bit more collateral uh, capital in your account. So let's head over to the options chain and let's do something, maybe a July 23rd expiration date. As you can see, it's not we're not going to get too much premium actually. So if you do want to end up purchasing shares at a lower price, you could do something like a $24 strike. Um, so in this case, you'll be getting your shares 50 cents cheaper than the current price and you will get paid $90 to do so. Uh, of course, if Palantir doesn't go below $24 a share, then you will have, you will collect your premium in full profit of $89. If Palantir goes below $24, you have to purchase 100 shares at $24 each, which is pretty much getting paid to buy the dip. Uh, and since I am holding already 300 shares, I am going to consider selling some covered calls uh, two, three weeks out. So as we can see, we're going to go to the sell, we're going to do calls, and we're going to choose our strike price. So I want to hold my shares for the long term. So I'm going to choose a far out of the money strike price. Uh, so we don't want our the Palantir to hit our strike price. So we're going to go pretty far up. Something like a $28 strike selling these calls would be pretty good. Uh, 300 shares. So I'm going to sell three of these calls. And I will collect around, um, around, 80, around $80 of premium for selling three of these calls. So that's pretty good for me. Uh, it's not going to be crazy amount, but how I see it is it's pretty much like a a, a dividend because you're going to be getting paid every two, three weeks for selling these call options. And of course, I'll be fine with selling Palantir at $28 a share if it hits it. So nothing really, we're not really losing too much there because that will be a $1,200 gain for me from the current stock price since I have 300 shares. But that's about it for this video. Just a quick little option strategy for Palantir. I see it as a really good buying opportunity, especially for the long-term calls, just because of how low implied volatility is on the stock and how great of a company this is, having all those government contracts dealing with big data. So comment down below what your thoughts are on Palantir Technologies. Are you still holding Palantir? Are you is it do you think it's a buy do you think it's a hold and of course subscribe if you're new here to the channel it helps out a lot thanks for watching